Could this be the face of the future? The future. Who is that? Anybody around the hall? Who knows who that is? Adam Benatari. Would you stop, Frank? It's Jared's the team coach. I'm asking around the home today with Israel and Clinton and Frank if Jared Stidham is the future of the Patriots because you saw they signed Brian Hoyer this weekend as well, and that's an old face uh, for Bill Belichick. And then there's a class of free agent quarterbacks that includes Andy Dalton. It's going to include Cam Newton. I'm the only one who's excited about the idea that maybe Cam Newton and the Patriots. Everyone else thinks it can't happen. Israel, first to you around the horn, around the home. The Jared Stidham error. Are you all in? I, I mean, how can you be all in, right? You have no idea what this guy is. You know, you hear uh, McCourty talking about how good he's been in practice last year and, and everything. Yeah, it is interesting. But, you know, it makes you wonder, right? Uh, is this going to be the guy that you, you take on? So Bill Belichick, I believe, is going to be motivated as ever to really be successful here. Do you yeah. really think it's going to be Stidham and Hoyer? Like, do you really think those are the guys that are going to carry this offense into a place that, you know, was, that Tom Brady couldn't even take it last year? You know, are we going to rely on that defense the entire year and just maybe a refurbished running game and see what the quarterback can do in that situation? I just don't think there's anything really exciting there about the quarterbacks. You get Cam Newton in there, maybe that's a different story. You get Jameis Winston in there and see sort of how that whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe. but this I mean I don't know what there is to get excited about okay Clinton Yates I'll ask you the same question did you read the quotes from Devin McCourty he said he liked the way Stidham looked at practice the look in his eye does that get a Patriots fan excited for the Jared Stidham era if it's not what's going to get the Patriots fans excited, then you're right. There is nothing to be excited for, but that's a plenty good reason to be excited. This was a playoff team last year. People thought that the reason that they weren't better than they were was because of the quarterback. Now, I don't think Stidham or Hoyer jumps in and necessarily is better, but the defense is what they were riding on anyway. And if they've got confidence in this guy, I, look, I don't think you bring back Hoyer for any reason other than you want him to be the starter. And obviously that means that Belichick has some level of confidence in him, which I think if you're a fan, you have to rely on as well. I don't think that this team is down in the dumps at all. People thought it was an upset when they lost in the playoffs last year, as ridiculous as that was. And I still think this team can contend this year. That was because of Tom Brady, though, wasn't it? Because it wasn't because because it's not good, Tony. The defense is what they rode on. And if yeah. they can find a way to put it together with what they had on offense in the same performance this year, I don't think a contender. Frank, right, let me ask it to you this way. If Bill Belichick says, believe me, I'm Bill Belichick, and in the end chooses Jared Stidham, should Patriots fans believe him? You know, it's funny, Devin McCourty, you know, we're all stuck in our house and Devin McCourty's out there talking about practice. We're talking about practice. The games are a lot different than what you're doing on the scout team. But Bill Belichick, remember this, Tony, uh, Tom Brady filled in for uh, Drew Bledsoe, led them to a Super Bowl. When Brady got hurt about 12 years ago, Matt Castle won 11 games. This season, Brady only threw 24 touchdowns. It sounds like you're about to say a system QB is all you need. That's what it sounds no. like you're about to say, Brady. No. But I will say this, can he be average? Because remember something, last season, Ryan Fitzpatrick on the final weekend of the season went into Foxborough, beat them, and that meant the Patriots did not get a bye the first week. Then Ryan Tannehill went in there during the playoffs and beat them. And I would consider both those guys good but average quarterbacks. Can Stidham be average? Why not? Isn't that the exact reason why I shouldn't be excited, right? Can you be average? Like, that's what Frank is asking. <laughs> Please be average. Let's go, Pat. That's not really fun. <laughs> This man, does he look like the quarterback of your team? He's, he's ready to get behind center. I, I feel like you got to trust Bill Belichick on some degree. Right, not for a system quarterback, but two for four with a pick six against the Jets. The Jets, that, that's, that's all we've seen from Stidham. So my point here is you got Brian Hoyer in. You got Andy Dolan available. We talked about Cam Newton a little bit. I think that's delicious. Game is Winston. That would be delicious for a different reason. Chances that Andy Dalton is a call Bill Belichick makes, Frank. Uh, you could start there. I, I definitely think so. I still like your idea of Cam Newton as well. My big thing with Cam would be – Well, now everybody <laughs> likes it. Last week I got laughed off the off the, off the no, I think you're onto something. <laughs> Clinton? I like the Dalton idea. That tells Bengals teams weren't terrible under him. I think he could be a you know, decent career reclamation for him. Is. I don't mind the Dalton idea. I think the fact that they brought in Hoyer tells you that that's his security blanket already. So he doesn't need this big, bold move. I could see him sort of building this team around, obviously, a great defense and a running game and saying, hey, we'll still make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. All right, last question. Week one of the season. Should we ever have a week one, please? <laughs> week one of the season. Uh, who's your starting quarterback? QB one for the Patriots. Frank? I'm going to go with Brian Hoyer week one. Okay, after everything we just said, there's a mute for you. Thank you. You could have brought that up earlier. Glenn Yates. I think it's Brian Hoyer week one. But I think Come on, you mute him. What are we doing here? Israel, how about you? I mean, 
for the sake of a Patriots fan, I'm going with Jared Stidham. Give me something to get excited <laughs> about. All right. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.